round of applause to the brilliant Dr. Siddharth Mehti. Good morning, all of you. I would like to express my sincere gratitude. Most of all, VIT Bhopal for giving me this opportunity to speak in front of in front of all of you. So I, as you know, I am uh, Dr. Siddharth Maithi. So I'll I'll share my journey, st uh, starting from my like school days to my like job life. Correct. I have grew up in a village uh, called Sirampur in West Bengal. It's a small village. Correct. So at the age of I think ten. Uh, we got the electricity in our house. Correct. When I was in fifth standard, basically, we got the electricity in television in my house. By but, but my parents and my teachers, beloved teachers, respected teachers, inspired me so much to do something in life. I studied, you know, in Bengali medium until class twelve. I never speak in English, right? Until the age of eighteen years. Then when I got admission in BTEC, biotechnology. So that is the first time I started speaking in English. In my first semester, basically my GPA was under six because that is the first time I was writing my exam in English. Then, then I was really stressed. I don't know what to do. Then I started, I was very fortunate enough to have few friends, my classmates, who started speaking in English with me. In that time, basically, I didn't know what to do. I didn't have any clue. Although I know that in my in my class in my class two, I I was a district topper in my in my district. Then I I just looked looked back what I can do with the life. So then, then in the subsequent semester, what I tried to do, right? I tried to work with my classmate, and then my GPA, I turned my GPA to 9.55, from 5.9 to 9.55. So this is this is very simple. What I learned in life, if we have weakness, we have to work on the weakness. As simple as that. And nothing is rocket science. If we figure it out, what is the weakness in life, we, sh we would be able to figure that thing out. So what we have to have, we have to have just dedication, hard work, and consistency. Then after finishing my second year in BTEC, then I wanted, to, I wanted to look back what I could do in life. I was, I, was, I was actually very sure in my mind, right? It was very clear in my mind that I, I wanted to go for a higher studies. My brother, who is currently, my elder brother, who is currently a professor at IIT Bombay, right, that time he, he, he finished his master's from IIT Bombay, correct, and they, then he went to the US for his PhD at John Hopkins University. So he suggested me, if you are interested in doing, going for the PhD, why don't you start preparing for PhD right away in the, in the, in the, in the BTEC level? Let me tell you, I think all of you know, right, for, for getting admission in PhD, you, you need to have just 16 years of study. That means plus 12, plus 4 years of study, then you will be eligible to get the admission in the PhD, in the abroad. And nowadays, you know, in, the, in, in fact, in India, right, in, in, in some IITs and premier institute, this culture is coming. So again, the same problem came to me, right? If I go, have to go for the USA, right, I have to write a GRE and TOEFL. The same problem came, came to me, right? How to prepare for GRE? So I was just 20, 21 years old. Uh, then I just purchased two books. One, one is Baron, another is Kaplan. Correct? So I didn't have any issue with the quantitative section. As you know, in the GRE, there are three, three sections, basically. Quantitative, that is basically um, the math section right and verbal section so that is that is basically the english section correct and the analytical writing part so initially i was not sure how to cope up with that thing then again again i started talking with my classmate right how to deal with the things 
and and to let me tell you my story right i just wanted to keep the things very simple every day i used to study 2 to 3 hours for gre and let me tell you when the when after the third year the my my result came my gre score was even better than the my classmate who was convent educated that is why i i am telling you guys right if you have a passion if you have a determination if you are a hard working nobody can stop you nothing no obstacle can stop you so just you have to have clarity in mind what you can do i am telling you all of you are sitting here like 200 200 of you are sitting here there is no difference in the iq level very marginal difference would be there but the thing is that how you are preparing yourself that will matter most right so to to success to have a success first you f- figure it out what you want to do just set up a goal simple goal then you try to come up with the methodologies how you will be able to achieve that goal then you try to execute it it's make it simple as simple as like that then i think whatever you are deserving right whatever you are trying to achieve you can achieve it very simply very very not this is not a rocket science you can do it so at the end of the my third year in the bitec actually i got admission in five us universities with scholarship so i got admission in university of massachusetts dartmouth right with the full scholarship then i tried to try to look back right what i have done right a lot of my other friends also have done the similar things i want to tell you one thing right we you you guys at the undergrad level you are doing lot of projects correct lot of internship correct please don't do it for the sake of doing projects if you are working something just do it from your heart you 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 should know what is the basic right i will be telling about or talking about my journey at intel corporations how i got into that before that i am telling you at the undergrad level you have tremendous potential you can crack anything just you have to do right you have to do the hard work you have to be consistent you have to know what you are trying to do don't copy it whatever is whatever is there in the google right so nowadays chat gpt is coming right if we are giving an assignment right you are just copying and pasting it or you are getting the code please don't do that please don't do that you try to write your code by yourself if you fail you will struggle you will learn then try to get the output correct so after my after my bit uh, after uh, once i go to go went to the us basically again i struggle so struggle from, struggle came from in different perspective one is cultural cultural differences was there i had to adapt for it correct and the second one in my btech days also even i i complained a lot right this hostel food about hostel food this thing that thing i this is not right that is not right when i lined up in us nobody was there to listen for my complaint i had to cook my own food i had to wash my own own clothes i have to take care of my own 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 bedding everything correct so please don't complain if anything is presented to you you just take it as a challenge and finish it so that should be your mindset that should be your that should be the you know the mantra to the success correct so then when i go got admission at university of massachusetts dartmouth so first day i entered into the lab my advisor came to me and and he asked me what you wanted to do then i said sir whatever you will be telling me i will be doing that project at the very first day he told me i don't need technician in my lab i don't need it if i am telling what you are t- you, you you will be doing that means at the end of the fourth year or fifth year you will be just end up being an, a technician you have to come up with the idea you have to come up with the methodology then you execute you run the experiment and then you get the result and come to me then we will discuss why you got that this result so that approach you have to adapt we should not everybody say okay so if we are running a code it is not working then then we should not give up it 
we should not give up get it so in my in my masters basically i worked in a, a drug delivery system control drug delivery system right right so from the electrospan nanofibers right we all know right if we taking a pill right then what happens it goes through our gastro gi tract to whole it is spread all over our body correct so then what happens right say for instance i have a pain here the whole drug will be traveling across the body then the normal cell of the body will be will be will be suffered so that's why that new concept came that is called site specific drug delivery correct so i was successful in making site specific drug delivery using electro spinning nanofibers then in my phd in my phd i have developed fluorescence sensor for bioimaging of iron ions as you know right if we are stressed if we are stressed then what happens we don't feel like to do anything that is nothing but you know our body our cells produce a lot of free radicals that is that is called a reactive oxygen species correct so what happens you know this reactive oxygen species is connected with many ma many diseases deadly diseases like cancer neuro different neurodegenerative diseases like parkinson alzheimer as well as you know cardiovascular diseases so i am i am telling you i was developing i was developing the fluorescent sensor to sense sensor to track this iron ions right in cells in particular cells how much is the iron content we all know in our body there are a lot of cells and organelles correct so my target was how to track those iron in different parts of the body as you know if uh, we have this normal cells right the iron content free iron content would be very low correct but but in the cancer cells the iron content would be really high correct so that's why the stress this there will be uncontrolled division of the cells and tissues so that's why people suffer from cancer so i'm telling you i was developing this sensor fluorescent sensor for the first two and a half years i was not able to make a successful sensor fluorescent sensor correct to track iron ions in the in cells and tissues correct so but i was able to figure it out what went wrong in that particular case right i was developing 50 almost more than 50 sensors but those are not successful one so two and a half years almost i didn't get any positive result but i tried to explain it right why i didn't get the positive result what are the loop holes i think to to achieve success in life you have to know always you will not be in the research or if you are working in a company you will we you will always not be getting the positive results you have to deal with the negative results also what you will have to have what, what you will have to adapt is the your troubleshooting skill if you are good at explaining why you are not getting your desired result that will be it correct so let me tell you so two and a half years i didn't get the positive result then next six months i i i i i prepared i think i synthesized 10 fluorescent sensor basically i was done with my phd thesis correct so that's why we should not be stressed up we should not be stressed right so we have to manage the stress properly so at younger age the what i found right managing stress as well as meeting deadlines is a challenging task for us right so how do i manage stress if i am stressed so simple thing i start running i i i was a marathon runner i started running you know right so that will release toxin from our body and then after running i i generally go for meditation so it calm downs my nerve so for you guys whatever whatever technology or whatever process works for you right you just do that right if you try to listen the music and it will calm your nerve please do that so please stay calm while you are in stress another thing then after my phd i got into you know the semiconductor industry being a biology right biotechnology background student it is it is very hard to you know sound right how how you can end up with a like, semiconductor industry correct semiconductor industry basically they make chips correct 
so in the mobile chips or um, the, you know these computer chips how you can make it correct so i was talking about right in my masters i had done just 6 to 8 months project so in that project i just learned one particular technology that is called scanning electron microscopy correct so that that one is to just characterize the surface structure of any material correct so in 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 so in in intel what while i was i was offered a position so my job was to was to see the characterize the surface structure of the nano 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 chips so now you see how wonderful this interdisciplinary research nowadays is being a biology student i cannot say that i should not learn the technology like in software language now being a computer science guy i should not say i should not work in a pharmaceutical company we have to be really flexible we'll have to know right so what we as a scientist or as a researcher or as a, if you are working in a company you have to be open minded you have to be flexible you have to know the science your basic has to be strong correct at intel basically i i learned many things because you know right there were like like a people in a group like there are 20 22 countries right people from 22 countries i was working with i learned different cultures and then you know right so in the, while you will be working in a company the teamwork is the most so nowadays right you can develop this teamwork from now onwards Say for instance, you are conducting an event, you try to do it with a team. Because you know teamwork always leads to a success. Single people cannot think all the parameters together. If the different people think differently, then we'll come up with a good strength. Correct? So that's how basically my, my, my suggestion to you guys, right? I was in the same journey, right? Like you, where you, you, you are starting now. What you have to do? just have a clarity in the mind set up a goal if you are stressed you just stay calm you try to overcome that time i'm telling you this stress time should not it will not continue for forever you come up with a methodology how to achieve the goals then you just execute it it's as simple as that right you don't have to do any extraordinary work you try to take the help from your classmate the, they are the most, I mean, you know, right, you, you can get a lot of suggestion from them. Always try to be, try to have this positive attitude. Try to learn from everyone. Even if you're juniors or seniors, definitely teachers should be there, your mentors, your uh, <coughs> parents should be there. Try to do that. I think you would be able to, able to succeed. So these are, these are the few key mantras I want to do, say to you. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much.